Welcome to Adventer. In this video, first we will uh, introduce one a new uh, R integrated development environment which is called R Studio. We will differentiate between what is the difference between R Studio and R software and how it is going to be helpful and how it will help us. Okay. So uh, first of all, let's open the traditional R software uh, which is uh, we have downloaded uh, from the Chrome website. So this is R. Here we have two different sections. One is console. One is R editor. In R editor, you will write the codes. Here we will write the codes. And uh, uh, for example, two, three, four, five, six. You have to run it, and it will get executed. And uh, here it will be displayed. Okay. So this is what we used to do. Okay. So for example, uh, if you want to run a regression, or uh, if you want to run correlation, or something sort of that and a, and the execution is dependent on one particular package uh, which you have to download from Google or from Kran uh, website and you have to install that by visiting this uh, uh, and this tab so you have to select the option install packages from local zip files then you have to install packages okay and continuously also you have to update packages so in this case in our editor also you will not be able to highlight those codes if you if you try to make it bold you won't be able to do that you won't be able to do that so uh, and also if you put any comments also it will not differentiate between a normal uh, I mean syntax or a comment uh, or a syntax with a comment so it will not differentiate between the two and Every time uh, you have to visit the packages and every time you have to visit the CRAN website and download packages in order to execute or in order to activate some functions or analysis or modeling. Okay. So to get rid of those kind of difficulties, there is one integrated development environment for R which is called R Studio. So this is called R Studio and uh, where you can download this, again you can visit just by visiting Google website, just try to type R Studio. Once you type R Studio, the first link will come rstudio.com, and from there just visit the R Studio IDE. Here you will get a download option. This software is free, and this is exactly similar to R because it uh, it is just a user interface and it is very user friendly uh, design for R. So there are Windows version, Mac version, and the Linux version and uh, my Linux version also so you can download the windows version and install it on your pc once you download that and install that you will get an interface like this so in this interface there are four different sections here first section is for writing the codes so in this section if you look at here i wrote some codes here so uh, the comments are uh, highlighted as uh, uh, green colors and you can see the codes are in uh, black and if you look at the functions functions are uh, highlighted as blue so accordingly you will see accordingly you can see the auto uh, highlighted options or automatically the codes are getting highlighted so that it will be easier for a programmer to identify which one is code which one is function and which one is comment okay so there is also another option once you click here then you can run the code here so run the current line or selection or you can or alternatively you can uh, uh, control plus enter also you can do that to run a particular code okay so there is also uh, one a section it's called code completion code completion tab so there are many options here so now the easiest one is just to type you all the codes here and try to execute either by clicking this and or by control plus enter okay so now if you want to save this just click on the save button and it will ask you uh, where to save the particular file once you pass the uh, file automatically it will save it in your local directory okay so this is one option second option that uh, the num as many uh, you can open as many windows here just to write your codes if you want to write separate codes for each section then you can click on r script and keep on extending the number of scripts you require for your uh, coding purposes okay now coming back to the 
console part so once you this is second part so it indicates that r version 3.0.2 is installed okay so this is again uh, this is r foundation for statistical computing and this is absolutely free software and the basic uh, uh, engine which is uh, which r studio is taking into consideration that is r r software itself okay so there is no difference between this r and r studio basically both are same but this is more user friendly and it helps the programmer to write the codes to understand to get help and everything so this is one such solution for a programmer okay so this is the console part once you execute any code once you run the code so it will be displayed here the output will be displayed here now there are some other sections here so this is called section 3 so in section 3 uh, you can directly import a data set or if you don't want to import you can run the code here once you run the code for example let's take this is the first i am trying to import one data file okay now i have imported once i import the data file it will be stored here now the big advantage of this window is that once you click on this then the data set will be displayed first thousand observations will be displayed here so here only we have 200 observations that's fine all the observations are being, are being displayed here now with the variable names you can look at the variable names you can look at the column names you can get a view of the data exactly what is there in this data set okay now you look you can look at this uh, data set in a very user friendly manner but in traditional software you you were not be able to view the data like this only so here you can get a summary view of the data data set name variables and observations are written over here okay so you can uh, i mean uh, whatever uh, uh, variable you will create also new variable it will get stored here and you can if you click on that it can be viewed here you can get a view of the data set as well okay now coming back to the fourth section so the fourth section is about uh, first is files so files means whatever files are there in your r directory or working directory it will be displayed here by default okay now you can create a new folder you can delete the existing uh, folders files and data frames or you can rename them the most useful uh, uh, from this section the most useful tabs are plots packages and help once you click on you don't have to click on plots once you run a uh, plot here for example let's take i am running a simple histogram so simple histogram of the data set d1 uh, read variable read so here you will be able to see the graph here so directly you can give, see the histogram here once you click on zoom button you can see you can see the histogram in a very extended window and if you want to copy it you can directly click on copy image and you can set uh, wherever you want as a picture you can test it anywhere or if you want to export it as an image or a pdf file or copy plot to the clipboard you can do that okay so you can create as many graphs here whatever information whatever plot you will be uh, making in the code creation or the model building stage or analysis stage it will be displayed here uh, as a quick reference so you can see here okay now packages once you click on the packages tab there are two important things one is check for updates and install packages so for example let's take i'm installing one package rcmdr rcmdr which is r commander so this is one package okay so here there are various options here first option is that install packages from your local archive file so this option when you have downloaded all your packages all the packages from cram website uh, comprehensive r archives network website then you put all your packages in one particular archive folder 
then you can select this option otherwise it's best to always di directly download from the cran repository if you make the option cran repository and once you type it will automatically display for example if you type r c m d r now you will get suggestions a list of suggestions which one you are exactly trying to download so you can select so here you have options you can select any package whatever package you want once you, you can also give multiple commands like with a space so again you can specify uh, suppose i want mass package also mass and if you want dubai dubai package so you can also click on that so multiple packages also you can specify here now the biggest benefit is that once you see you are passing only three packages you are trying to download three packages okay but those three packages if they are dependent on 15 or 20 more packages then you don't have to download or you don't have to specify their name here just click on install once you click on install so all the dependency packages will be automatically downloaded to our system and automatically it will be installed here now you don't have to worry about other packages other dependency packages you can see all the dependency packages automatically it is getting downloaded here so i'm not doing anything automatically all the packages are getting downloaded one by one from the cran website okay you can see you can see this cran website it is uh, trying to access the url cran and it is trying to download and you can see 3.3 mb 3.7 mb 1 1.2.5 mb so all those packages which are dependent on something so you can see matrix uh, these are the packages okay so you can see i only passed three packages however it is it has uh, uh, it already installed so many packages okay so you can see the benefit of r studio here second important thing is that if you look at the check for updates once you click on updates the benefit is that suppose i have already installed uh, for example let's look at this a rules a rules is it's called association rules is this is one package which i installed uh, so it was 1.0 slash uh, uh, hyphen 15 so this was the version i downloaded and installed on my pc however the most recent updated version is this one 1.1 which is available right now so you can either select all those packages which is available right now so that you can upgrade from your older package to the most uh, most uh, uh, updated and uh, uh, you can say uh, most advanced package which is just released okay you can update it automatically once you click on install updates so the system will automatically install all those packages on your system and your system will be updated this is the next benefit is that the help button once uh, let's take for example i need help on uh, correlation so if you type correlation or let's take i am interested in bis variance inflation factor i don't know what is bis so just put double question mark and put bis and hit enter once you hit enter then it will search this function on the website now it will display so under help section you will see search results for vif now in the search result for vif you can see variance inflation factor which is a function of package called tar if you click on that then you can see variance inflation factor vif is a function of tar package so it, there is a package called tar under which now you can see the usage you can see the sample code how to write that function see the example code you can see how to write the code 
how to look at the VIF function. So these are very, uh, I mean, this this section is a documentation and example and all the documentations. Uh, you can access all the documentations here. You can look at this. This is called R documentation. So whatever function you are trying to search, you can put it here. If you put hit enter, it will be displayed here. So you can directly take a reference. So there is no need to uh, go back to uh, uh, Google search or any other search to find out the function. Or you don't have to visit any random website to find out the function. You can directly find out uh, from the CRAN website and the uh, package documentation itself. So for each of the packages, you will have separate documents. So each documentation will define uh, specific ways to pass a particular argument or to pass a particular function and various other options which is available in order to pass this. So with this, we will uh, close the introduction part on RStudio. Now going forward for uh, further, uh, uh, further uh, lessons or further uh, practice on various other modeling part and analysis part, we will be using the R Studio only. So we will not be using this uh, uh, R only. This we will be using only R Studio as it is helping us in writing programs, executing and interpreting the results, and taking help from online also. So now in this session we will be talking about data manipulation. So data manipulation. What is data manipulation? And how? Uh, why it is most important in terms of handling the data? What are the challenges typically a programmer or, uh, or an analyst to face when uh, he has to manage a lot of data with uh, uh, different difficulty levels and what are the typically what are the difficulties in data manipulation? We will uh, we will cover this through one example here and we will also cover it through uh, through some uh, practical examples and sample files. So here I have downloaded. Uh, one data set. Now in, uh, now in in the next session we will be talking about how to uh, manipulate data in R.